Hello, everyone. Many of you uh, may have aspirations to become an accountant someday, and you are deciding on an appropriate course of study to take. Uh, there are many universities and colleges out there that are offering uh, many different types of accounting programs and accounting courses. Many parents and students have often asked me uh, about the uh, difference between the professional uh, pathway uh, and the university pathway to study accounting. And um, they are also interested to know uh, about how does one become a qualified accountant uh, in Malaysia. So I thought it would be useful for me to share my view on the differences between the um, uh, professional pathway and the university pathway to study accounting and also provide you with an overview of uh, how does one uh, become a qualified accountant in Malaysia. Hopefully this will help you in making an informed decision about uh, which course, uh, which accounting course uh, that you should be uh, studying. Accounting is uh, a profession uh, similar to the legal profession, the uh, medical profession, and the engineering profession. So in Malaysia, uh, the accounting profession is regulated by the uh, Malaysian Institute of Accountants, or MIA. So in order to practice as an accountant in Malaysia, uh, you will need to be a member of the Malaysian Institute of Accountants. Uh, so now let's assume that you have just completed your SPM or your O-levels and you are deciding on uh, a course to take uh, to enable you to eventually become a member of uh, MIA and subsequently to uh, practice as an accountant. So in Malaysia, we are quite fortunate because there are two uh, pathways or two routes uh, to uh, actually um, obtain your accounting qualification. Uh, these two routes are the uh, professional route or the professional pathway and the uh, university uh, pathway. So let me start with the uh, professional pathway. Now after your SPM or your uh, O-levels, uh, what you could do is that you can uh, enroll in either the uh, the Association of Chartered Certified uh, Accountants or ACCA's um, Foundation in Accounting or FIA or, or you can enroll in the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales or ICAW's uh, Certificate in Finance, Accounting and Business or also known as uh, the CFAP. In order to uh, join the uh, FIA uh, you will need to have obtained at least uh, five credits in SPM, whereas in uh, the ICAW CFAP, you will need uh, five distinctions at SPM in order to, be, uh, to enter into that program. The FIA will take you about a year, whereas the CFAP program will take you about uh, 18 months. So once you've completed the, uh, either the FIA or the CFAP program, uh, you can now progress on to the professional papers of uh, either the ACCA uh, or the ICAW. Uh, in order for you to complete the ACCA, you will need probably around two to three years. Uh, as for the um, ICAW's um, uh, qualification, you will need to take a bit longer because there is a requirement for you to be employed in an approved training employer uh, when you are doing your final few uh, papers. So once you've completed all the relevant professional papers, you are then required to accumulate at least three years of relevant working experience. And once you uh, accumulate those working experience, you can then be admitted into full member or as a full member in the relevant professional bodies. 
And once you become a full member of your relevant professional body, you can then be admitted directly into the uh, MIA and subsequently you can start practicing uh, as an accountant in Malaysia. Now let's have a look at the uh, university route or university pathway. After your SPM or O levels, what you will need to do is to enroll in a pre-university uh, qualification, such as any recognized uh, foundation program or uh, matriculation program or the A levels or the uh, uh, STPM. These uh, pre-university qualifications uh, prepare students for entry into university education and they normally take between uh, one to two years. Now, upon completion of your uh, pre-university qualification, you can actually proceed on to do your professional pathway or professional qualification through joining the um, professional uh, exams of ACCA or ICAW. But if you wish to proceed on to a university degree, then as long as you've met the entry requirement of the respective universities, uh, you should be able to enroll in these university programs. Now, there are actually two routes for you to, uh, or two types of degrees that uh, you may want to consider. Uh, the first one is uh, actually the uh, four-year Bachelor of Accountancy programs that are normally offered by public universities and a few private universities. These four-year Bachelor of Accountancy programs are accredited by the Malaysian Institute of Accountants. And uh, upon graduation, uh, what you can do is you can proceed to accumulate your three years of working experience and then uh, proceed on directly uh, for membership with uh, the Malaysian Institute of Accountants and then subsequently uh, practice as a professional accountant. These four-year uh, Bachelor of Accountancy programs are normally taken by students who have done their STPM or uh, the students who have done the Ministry of Education's matriculation uh, programs. If you are um, a student who have done an international pre-university qualification uh, such as the A-levels or the Austral Australian matric matriculation or the Canadian matriculation, or you've done a foundation program in a private college or um, a private university, uh, you are likely to uh, enroll in an accounting degree uh, in a, uh, that is offered by a private university or a foreign branch campus. Now, these accounting degrees are normally uh, three years in duration. Now, for these accounting degrees, uh, up, upon completion and graduation, you will have to uh, proceed to do a professional qualification. Uh, in this case, you can uh, proceed to do your ACCA or ICAW uh, papers. Now, because uh, you have uh, done a degree and depending on the university that you have graduated from, you will be eligible for exemptions of uh, quite a few papers in the uh, professional qualification. You will only have to do a few more papers uh, in ACCA or ICAW. Now, in addition to ACCA and ICAW, you also have the option to uh, do other professional uh, qualifications. For example, uh, you can do CPA Australia, or you can do the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants qualification, which is also known as CIMA, or you can do the Malaysian, Certified, Malaysian Institute of Certified Public Accountants, or uh, the MIGPA. So upon completion of your professional uh, papers, uh, you can then proceed on to accumulate your three years of uh, working experience. And upon completion of that, op upon obtaining your three years of working experience, you can then be admitted to full member of the respective professional bodies. 
And once you've obtained full membership of these professional bodies, you can then be admitted to MIA and then subsequently uh, practice as an accountant. So as you can see, uh, both pathways uh, will enable you to become a uh, qualified accountant in Malaysia. Uh, so essentially, there is really no difference, at least in the outcome, uh, between the uh, professional pathway and the uh, university pathway. There are just different routes that you can take uh, to reach the same destination. However, there are a few features of each pathway that you may want to consider or take into account that may affect your choice of which route that you want to uh, take. Firstly, if you consider costs and duration of study, it may be possible for you to complete your studies within a shorter time frame if you were to do your uh, professional uh, studies. Consequently, the costs that you incur may also be lower compared to a university education. In general, the tuition fee of uh, some universities uh, can be as high as double the fee that you uh, incur uh, for your professional studies. But the key difference, uh, in my view, between the uh, professional uh, pathway and the university pathway is really the learning experience that you go through. In my opinion, uh, university education provides you with a more holistic and well-rounded uh, education compared to uh, the professional studies. In the professional studies, there is a tendency to focus a lot on the technical knowledge uh, in accounting and finance. In addition, in many universities, you are also given an option to uh, take uh, business subjects as electives. And this will provide you with a more, uh, you know, wider knowledge in business. The assessment in professional studies tend to focus a lot on summative assessments, such as final examinations. There are more formative assessments in a university degree. Uh, these formative assessments normally include coursework, such as research assignments or project work. These coursework enable a student to develop their critical thinking skills, as well as their human skills like leadership and teamwork. Another key difference between the um, professional pathway and a university pathway is that if you decide not to pursue your professional qualification when you graduate, uh, you can seek employment with your uh, university degree. With a university degree, you can progress in your career in most companies and organizations. But if you do decide to take the professional route, it will be preferable that you go all the way and complete your professional qualification. So uh, in, in summary, my view is that if you are set on uh, a career uh, as a professional accountant, uh, it may be uh, better for you to consider uh, the professional pathway. However, if you are looking for a more holistic and uh, well-rounded education, uh, you may want to consider the, a university education. Uh, especially if you are still undecided about what you really want to do after you have completed your studies. But both pathways will help you achieve your aspirations to become a qualified accountant. There's really no right or wrong decision here, uh, and one pathway is not necessarily better than the other. My advice to you is really to find out as much as you can about both pathways. Uh, make a decision uh, based on what you know and what you want to experience in terms of your uh, education. Um, then make it happen and don't look back. Uh, I hope this video ha has been helpful to you, uh, at least to help you make an informed decision about which course that you would like to study. Uh, please do post any questions or comments that you have down below. 
uh, and I wish you all the very best in your studies. Please do take care and stay safe.